Hello and welcome. You're watching Unplugged TV India. This is Alice Francis. Let's get started with today's top news. Coronavirus care continues. India reports 1.72 lakhs positive cases, 1,008 deaths. Veteran actor and director Ramesh Deo passes away on Wednesday night after a severe heart attack. No changes in decision. Maharashtra board exams to be held in offline mode. Muslim students in Ijab denied entry in college for not wearing uniform. Assembly elections. Arvind Kejriwal assures voters that their work for free electricity, schools, hospitals will benefit the public. Congress President Rahul Gandhi takes dig at BJP, says the party is dividing the country into two parts. Goa Assembly polls: no sale of liquor in state after 11 p.m. Centre seeks to defer hearing on pleas for criminalising marital rape. COVID-19 grips Indian cricket team. Shikhar Dhawan and Ruturaj Gaikwad test positive, among others. After 18 years of collaboration, actor anchor Ranveer Singh quits Rodies Sonu Sood to replace him. Ajay Devgan releases first look from Gangu Bai Kathiawadi. Fans waiting for the trailer. India's daily COVID-19 tally saw a jump on Thursday as the country recorded 1 lakh 72 thousand. 433 cases of infection in the last 24 hours according to the health ministry's bulletin india reported 1008 deaths while the active case load is presently at 15 lakh 33921 ramesh deo a veteran bollywood and marathi cinema actor director and producer best known for his performances in films like Anand Mere Apne died of heart attack on Wednesday Deo was 93 years old he is survived by his wife Seema who is also an actress and two sons the actor is most recognized by hindi films for his performances as a doctor in Rishikesh Mukherjee's Anand in the year 1971 starring Rajesh Khanna and Amitabh Bachchan and in Gulzar's Mere Apne also starring in same year Meena Kumari Vinod Khanna and Shatrughan Sinha however Deo's first love was always Marathi cinema Deo appeared in nearly 250 films produced more than a dozen and directed a few more he was the recipient of a number of honors including the lifetime achievement award at the 11th Pune International Film Festival in 2013 amid the students protest for conducting board exams online the Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education announced that offline exams would be held as per schedule in the state with strict covid protocols Sharad Gosavi director Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education said To avoid overcrowding of students, the number of exam centers have been increased with every school being made into an exam center. This means that students will allow to give exam at their own school. The orders followed the violent protest that had erupted in Mumbai 4 days ago after students took to the streets to protest against the decision of the Maharashtra State Education Board to conduct offline exams of class 10th and 12th. The hijab row in Karnataka is not ending as girl students wearing hijab or burqa was stopped at the entrance of the Bandarkars College of Kundapur in Udupi district on Thursday morning. The school principal told students that as per the government's order and college guidelines they will have to come in uniform to the classes. The girl students however argued that they have been coming to the college in hijab for a long time. and they must be allowed to continue the state government has set up a high level committee to decide whether to allow the hijab wearing students in classrooms or not until the report is submitted the government has asked students to attend classes in uniforms without wearing hijab however the same is not being followed by the students ahead of goa assembly elections aam aadmi party national convener Arvind Kejriwal has perform- has promised 
rupees 10 lakh over next 5 years if the party is voted in power speaking at a press conference on thursday kejriwal said by voting for aap you will get benefits of at least rupees 10 lakhs in 5 years kejriwal also promised free electricity and health care to the people of the state meanwhile taking a dig at another politician kejriwal said it is very unfortunate that government jobs of goa are unfairly limited to only two constituencies of dr pramod p savant and vishwajit rane aap's candidate amit palekar will stop this bias we will give jobs based on eligibility not over partiality favoritism or bribery kejriwal added to goa assembly elections will be held on february 14 The counting of votes will take place on March 10. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi on Thursday alleged that the Bharatiya Janata Party is dividing the country into two parts, one which belongs to the rich and the other to the poor people. Addressing a rally in Raipur in Chhattisgarh, Gandhi alleged that BJP and RSS are imposing their ideology on the country. Rahul was in Chhattisgarh on Thursday to inaugurate the Rajiv Gandhi Bhumihin Krishi Mazdoor Nyay Yojana. The district magistrate of North Goa on Thursday informed that serving selling of liquor in all liquor bars, pubs, shops, clubs, shacks or any establishment which will be closed every day 11 pm with immediate effect. The order will stay in place till the time model code of conduct is enforced in the state by the election commission of india the sale of liquor in state has been banned from 12 to 15 february and on 10th march the day when votes will be counted the indian cricket team was hit by a covid-19 outbreak as four players including shikhar dhawan and ruturaj gaikwad middle order batter shreyas ayer and net bowler navdeep saini tested positive for the virus during the mandatory isolation period before the start of the west indies series apart from the cricketers three support staff members also tested positive for the virus following the report all india senior selection committee has added mayank agrawal to india's odi squad the series is scheduled to start from february 6 in ahmedabad The players who tested positive for COVID will remain in isolation until complete recovery. The center on Friday asked the Delhi High Court to defer hearings on a batch of petitions seeking to criminalize marital rape, saying that it needs time to conduct an effective consultative process before reaching any conclusion, and that the absence of such a process by the executive and legislature may result in some injustice in one section or other the court said that considering the social impact intimate family relations and the court not having the privilege of being fully aware of ground realities taking a decision on merely based upon the arguments of a few lawyers may not serve the end of justice Ran Vijay Singha has been involved with the TV reality show Rodies for about 18 years with a, a as a competitor host or coach the long relationship however is coming to an end said Ran Vijay Singha will not appear in the 20th season of the adventure based reality show according to the sources a new production house is helming the upcoming season A source familiar to the development says Singha was dissatisfied with the production house they had no choice except to split ways As per reports actor Sonu Sood will be filling Singha's shoes he will be the only mentor host and the face of the edition this year which is unusual The show's creators have abandoned the premises of gang leaders forcing Neha Dhupia Prince Narula and others to leave the show. The new season will be shot in South Africa and will begin production on February 14. The much awaited film Gangu Bai Kathiawadi Ajay Devgan releases first look from the film. 
Gangubai Kathiawadi is one of the most eagerly awaited films of 2022. On February 4, the trailer will be released in a big way, while Ajay Devgan has already presented his first look poster for the film Gangubai Kathiawadi in which Alia Bhatt plays the protagonist. After nearly two decades apart, Ajay Devgan and Sanjay Leela Bansali have reunited. Their first collaboration was in Hum Dil De Chuke Sanam, starring Aishwarya Rai Bachchan and Salman Khan. Due to the COVID-19 outbreak, the film has been repeatedly postponed. Gangubai Kathiawadi, directed by Sanjay Leela Bansali, will be released in theaters on February 25. Thank you for watching our channel please like share and subscribe this is Alice Francis signing off